Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to create a function based view in Django. So before we proceed to create a function based view in Django, firstly we will understand what is function based view. A function based view is basically a Python function that accepts a web request and return a web response. The response could be anything including an XML file, an image, an error, a redirect or a HTML text. So let's proceed and learn to create a function based view in Django with the help of a small project. So here is my sample project. So here I have set up a project with the name function based view project in Django. And inside it I have created an app with the name my app. And you know that after creating up the app we have to locate this app in the settings.py file to install it or to activate it. So I open my settings.py file that is located inside the main project directory and I scroll down after opening it and move to the installed app list and inside this list I have added the name of my app that is my app. After adding the name the next step is to map this app in the URL file of a project directory. So I open my urls.py file and path and map this app to it. So here I have used the path function inside it. I use the include function and inside in this include function I pass my app name that is my apps.urls. After that I have create a model. So for creating a perf model I move to my app and inside it I have models.py file. So I open it and uh, for storing up the data uh, I create this model. So I have created the model with the name employee and uh, this is my model class name employee and uh, after that I specify multiple fields. So fields are employee id that is an integer type. Next one is a name that is a character field with max length of a 200. The next one is a gender that is also a character field and after that I specify the city. And then to change the display name of the object in the Django model, I use the def underscore underscore str underscore underscore self function and it will render the item name as the name as we want to return the self dot name. So it returns the name from the employee as an object name. So after creating it, our next step is to uh, include this model to the admin part so the user will get the view of this model in an admin interface. So I move to my admin.py file and here I register my app model in it. So I get it in an admin interface. After that I create a form from the model. So for this I create a forms.py file in my app. By default the file is not created so I create it first. Here I create a form using the forms.model form class and name the form as an employee form and it has all the fields that the employee model has. So therefore inside the class meta I specify the model as employee and field as a underscore underscore all underscore underscore. Then after that I render the Django model form. So for rendering it our next step is to create a, create a template directory for the front end. So here I create a template directory in the main project file and after creating it I specify its path in a settings.py file. So I open my settings.py file that is located in a function based view project folder and inside it I move to the template list and here I have a dirs attribute and I set its value to the templates. After that I move to my templates folder and create a html file with the name forms.html. So here I created a my HTML file. Now I explain you. Here I set a table style first in a head tag. So here my table style. Okay. After that in the body I use the h1 and h4 tags to add a heading inside the form and then I render the form by calling the form tag with the post method and to protect the form from the hackers and to successfully send the data with the security I use the CS rf underscore token in the form element and after that I render the form as a table by using the form dot as underscore table tag and then I add one submit button by setting up an input type as a submit as a last step. After that I have to create a main logic for the project because we have decided the front end now it's time to create a main logic. 
so i move to my app directory and inside it i have a views.py file that locates my main logic so here i will going to create a function based view so basically we can create a views to type a class based view or a function based view so this time i am going to show you how we create a function based view so here i create a view called emp registration and import the employee form from the forms.py file first after that i execute a if statement that determine whether the request method is post or not after this if the method is post it includes the request dot post from the form method and uh, call, then i call the is underscore valid method to verify that the user input uh, if the validation is successful i call the save function and to save the user data and return the http response uh, the employee successfully register else if the request method is not post it is a get method basically it renders the blank registration application form for the user if the method is get so with this we have successfully created a function based view here you can see that here i define a function a python function so if you define a python based class it is a known as a class based view and if you define a function in a python uh, in the views.py file it is known as a view based fun uh, function based view so after defining your view it's time to map it with the your url file that is located in the my app so here i open my url dot file to map it with the url and here i define my view so here i use views dot emp register and first of all i import all the views after that it's time to execute the django model so firstly you have to open your command prompt and firstly you have to make a migration file that includes the code for the model uh, tabular schema so for this i use the command python manage.py make migrations and i hit enter it takes some time to execute so just wait after it execute it's time to build a table in accordance with the migration file schema so here i create up a file python manage dot py migrate and i hit enter again so it takes some time so it's ask you all the migration is applied uh, now it's time to launch a development server so here i write up the command python manage dot py run server so now i hit enter again so it takes some time so let's wait now it's executed copy this and open in your browser so here you can see that it successfully opens the django employee registration form that we create using a model form and a function based view which look like this now it's time to fill up so here i am going to fill this out so here i set it as a 100 105 and i set the name as a jackson and set its gender to male and a city i set as a usa so now i click on a submit button so you can see that it uh, on a successful submission it gives me a response http response employee successfully registered so with this we have successfully learned how to create a function based view to perform a different operations in django or to create a project for employee registration so if you like this video click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one thank you for watching and have a great day